Hey guys, welcome to a new by design. I'm going to be doing a video unboxing of the Eldago Game Capture HD60 capture card that just came out on the 18th. Uh, there's not a whole lot that comes with this uh, card itself, so I'm going to do the software install, a quick uh, view of how to set up and change the settings on the software, and how to s install this on the PlayStation 4, just uh, what you need to do to the PlayStation itself to make it function properly. So this is a capture card here. You can see there it has the HDMI input and the USB output, and on the other side, the HDMI output. Uh, there's also an adapter there for higher quality sound that you can do, uh, but it doesn't come with it. That's sold separately. This right here is a six foot long USB adapter cable, and that's what you hook up to your PC so that it can stream the footage or just the data itself. I'll tell you a little bit more about that cable a little bit later on and some problems I had setting it up to my PlayStation. Um, for the PlayStation to the computer itself. This is a three foot HDMI cable that it came with, and that's just to set it from your PlayStation or Xbox, uh, whatever you have, uh, to set the HDMI from there to the Eldago, and then you use your other cable, whichever you have, to set it up to your TV or to your surround sound system like I have mine set up. So that's all that really came with it. There's just a little sticker here as well that you can throw on the side of your PC or wherever. And that's pretty much it. I thought there would be a book or something that came with it, but there's nothing at all like that. You can go to the website, uh, which is on the inside of the cover there, to download the book itself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to go off to the website here to download the software itself. And the download size, I think it's 40.3 megabytes. It's a pretty small file. And then we'll get into how to uh, install it and all that kind of stuff in a minute here. So here we are on the website. And we're just going to download the quick software here. I'd actually already downloaded it. so. We'll go ahead and download it, but we'll not bother opening it up or anything like that. But like it says there, it's a 40.3 megabyte download, so a pretty small file. This is the game capture software itself. Um, I noticed initially it defaults to a drive that I don't use for my data and videos. I have three different drives that I use. Two are SSD and one is just a SATA drive. So I use that one because it's a 500 megabyte or 500 gigabyte drive. And I use that one for all my videos and all that kind of stuff just because that's how I like to set it up. So there's a couple of things we're going to do here, and I'll show you guys how to go through it. And the first thing of that is going to be is to basically click your preferences and set where your videos are going to download to. Like I said, I have a bunch of different drives, so I like to put it in my D drive because it's my biggest drive. And so I'm just going to do that and change it here to create my own folder so that I know where my... Uh, video captures are going to be. So we'll just do that right quick here. Type out a new folder. And then we'll be able to easily find out where all my videos are. After we get to that, actually before we get to that, I'll tell you about some of the problems that I had when I actually was setting it up on the PlayStation. I initially was trying to run the wire hidden, uh, the USB cable that is hidden from the whole area in my room. I didn't want a wire running through the area of my room, so I was trying to go around the outside and I needed 30 feet of USB. Uh, it ended up not working for capturing anything because USB is not really reliable for a data transfer or for power supply, and this capture card happens to be powered by the USB, so we had all kinds of problems with that. I ended up calling tech support and they said you have to shorten the USB. So I ended up shorting it down to 16 feet of USB and it ended up actually working perfectly and recording no problem. So like I said, there's not a whole lot to do as far as changing it. You can tinker with how you want it to record and all that kind of stuff. So now we'll get into what you have to do with the actual PlayStation itself. So to make it function on the PlayStation, before you connect your HDMI to the PlayStation, you just go to your settings, then you go down to system, and then you tick off the enable HDCP. You can see I've already done that, and that's how I'm able to record what I'm doing here. And once you do that, then you can plug in the HDMI and it should function perfect. If you guys found this video useful or enjoyed it at all, please click the like button. It helps me a lot when you do, and thanks for watching.